Hello, in this tutorial I'll show you the basic operation of Pebble Juggler. Pebble Juggler is a software for the statistical analysis of nanoparticle model lists generated by pebbles. When you start Pebble Juggler, you will see two windows, a small command window and the usual log window where all activity and results from Pebble Juggler are logged. As you can see in the Pebble Juggler command window you can find Pebble Juggler command buttons but you will not find any MATLAB buttons. This is due to the fact that Pebble Juggler can work with several images open at the same time and so the standard buttons will be found within these images. At the beginning the only active buttons are the buttons to load and delete nanoparticle model lists in addition to the about and quit button. But let's start loading a list and I choose the list we have created in automatic mode regarding manganese oxide nanoparticles. When I load the list an image window opens where you can find the experimental image and the nanoparticle models. Now two more back buttons are active. One you already know is the show detail, the inspect button and as usual you can click on a nanoparticle and in the log window you will find details of this nanoparticle. But there is an addition here. Pebble Juggler reads in the image the scale that is the nanometer per pixel factor. If Pebble Juggler can't find the scale in the image, we'll ask you for it. The main difference with Pebbles is that now you can find the diameter and center expressed in real space units, typically nanometers. I exit the detail mode by pressing again the button and the button next to the detail button is the analyze button. I press it and two windows appear where I can choose which morphological property of the nanoparticle model list want to analyze. As you can see now we have only one nanoparticle model list and we can choose to analyze equivalent diameter, major and minor diameter, if you have a anisotropic shape like an ellipse and you can also analyze the azimuth and the shape factor again for anisotropic nanoparticle shapes. Recall that I have chosen spherical shape in this case so I can analyze only the equivalent diameter. Last you can also have a statistical analysis of the delta that is the image intensity change due to the nanoparticle. But let's start just by choosing to analyze the equivalent diameter of our nanoparticles. I press OK and I presented with a new window containing an histogram of the equivalent diameters and a summary of the statistical results. More complete statistical results you can find in the log window where Pebble Juggler tells you that it has analyzed 1271 nanoparticles and the distribution of the diameters of these nanoparticles as a mean of 13.8, a median of 13.8 nanometers, 
standard deviation of the diameter distribution is just 0.7 nanometers corresponding to a 4.8% dispersion. And you can also find the minimum and maximum diameters in nanometers. This is the most basic operation of Pebble Juggler. We can have some information more by doing again this analysis, but now I also choose to fit the diameter distribution to a log normal. I am asked how many log normal probability distribution functions I'd like to fit, and being this uh, monomodal distribution, I choose one. Now, in addition to the histogram in this window, you can also find as a light blue line with blue stars the profile of the log normal distribution which best fits to our diameter distribution obtained from the TM image. And we can see that our distribution is close to a log normal distribution. All these results are reported in the log window. In addition to the statistical parameters of the the real diameter distribution, you can also find the statistical parameters of the best fit log normal. But recall that the numbers that have a real meaning are this one. These numbers are meaningful only when, as in this case, the log normal distribution is close to the, let's say, experimental distribution. Last, I would also like to show you the distribution of the nanoparticle model intensities. And you can see all the values are, of course, negative. Most of the values are on the high side, meaning closer to zero, which represents nanoparticles scattering mostly by mass thickness mechanism and a minority of highly scattering nanoparticles which are close to the Bragg diffraction scattering. And that's all for the basic operation of Pebble Juggler. In the next tutorial I'll show you how to analyze multiple lists belonging to the same sample.